Hi and welcome to Spice and Pans. Today we'll be cooking Chinese braised fish or hong sao yu. So let's start cooking. Now we'll start to marinate our fish first. I have with me over here one whole fish, 720 grams. This is a sea bass. You can use snapper, perch, whatever fish you want to use, no problem at all. To season this, we need one teaspoon of salt. Sprinkle on the skin as well as the inside of the fish. Rub the salt in. Now I've made two cuts over here on either side so that the fish will be cooked evenly later. Gently massage the salt in. After this is done, we'll dust some corn flour on the fish. The amount of corn flour you use will depend on the size of the fish. For me, this will be approximately one tablespoon or less around there. This is to prevent splattering as well as give it a very nice browning colour. Just tap it in a little bit like this. Turn it to the other side and do the same. After you're done with this, we'll just let this rest for approximately 10 minutes and I'll show you the next step which is to fry the fish. We'll now proceed to put our dish together. I'm using the La Gourmet 32cm Galactic Wok. Heat the wok up, add in a good amount of oil. You'll need a little bit more oil for this. Important thing to frying a fish is that your pan must really be hot, otherwise your fish, the skin will stick onto the pan. Of course, if you use a non-stick pan, that will be so much easier. Once the pan has heated up, we put our fish in. I'm using medium heat right now at this moment, you can do the same. Don't move the fish around first, let it fry for 2-3 to three minutes. Make sure that the skin is brown before we flip it to the other side. If you were to move the fish now, very likely the skin will break. 2 minutes is up, let's have a look. Once you have turned the fish to the other side, you add in our aromatics. 5 grams of ginger, shredded like this, put it in. 1 medium onion, cut thinly like this, put them in. 4 pieces of dried chilli, rehydrated and de-seeded for the extra spiciness, put them in. 4 or 5 stalks of spring onion, put them in, using the white part first. 3 pieces of garlic, sliced, also put them in. Add in also 300 millilitres of water. Half a tablespoon of oyster sauce. One tablespoon of light soya sauce. And one tablespoon of dark soya sauce. We need to balance up the taste with a little bit of our sugar. About half a teaspoon of sugar. Put them in. Put the lid on. Turn the heat to low. And we'll let this simmer for approximately 15 minutes. I'll see you back in a while. 15 minutes is up. Let's have a look. Wow, smells really good. Let's just give this a taste. Very fragrant, but we can use a little bit more salt, half a teaspoon of salt. Now we can turn the heat up back to medium, reduce the sauce a little bit. Try not to move the fish too much, otherwise it will break. Spoon the sauce over the fish. I turn the heat up to medium high is because I want to evaporate and concentrate the sauce that we have over here. Once the sauce has reduced a little bit, we'll thicken it up with some cornstarch solution. Just a little bit will be fine. Now add the rest of the spring onion in, and it's time for our lunch. And now the dish is done, let's have a taste. Smells really, really good. Mm. The fish is very tender. The sauce has the fragrance from a spring onion, the ginger, the onion. This is really a very good dish. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you like our video. Do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. Now it's your turn to cook. Thank you and see you soon.